Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I am going to show you and tell all about our spring. So come on, let's go. So we have no running water here. So what we do is we collect rainwater in this barrel and this garbage can for drinking, for cooking, for bathing if we need to. But it only rains six or seven or eight months out of the year. I don't know, it changes from year to year. It only rains, it doesn't rain all year long is my point. So we also have a wonderful spring. This is my absolute favorite place in, I think in all of the house, in all of the area, besides the swing, besides like the, the sitting swing, especially on hot days. When it's cold, it's too cold. I don't even want to take a bath. Don't tell anybody. Maybe don't visit me when, uh, when it's cold because I might smell a bit. <laughs> and here we go. So we're walking down the way. We're going to eventually make this barbed wire fence. Um, we're gonna make a door here, but for now we have to uh, go underneath the barbed wire fence. Eventually we will have time, energy, money, everything to make this into a door, into a gate. But for now, this is what we're doing. You can see all of these trees that have been felled. All these trees are actually uh, from the hurricane. They've fallen down. Look, you can see the house up on the hill. So there are lots and lots of trees that we have to cut and have firewood. This year, there's going to be no shortage of firewood at all. So do, 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 do. we walk down to our spring. Surprisingly enough, this spring even stays full during the hottest months. Um, it's, I think it's being fed by somewhere underneath because all this part up here that you can see that has water, all of this area dries up completely when there's no rain. This is gorgeous. This is originally where we wanted to have our spring um, and up a little ways more, we started to dig. But then we realized that the water doesn't actually come out from there. It's super, super dirty right now. We would not drink this water. This is water that we would just bathe in and wash our clothes in. Let me take off my shoes. All right, so this is our spring. It's a lot deeper than it looks. It's really, really, really nice. We have to scrub all of this rock with a metal brush. We have to scrub all this rock because it gets really muddy and actually really um, slippery because it has moss growing on it if we don't scrub it. This is our washing station where we wash our clothes. I don't know what this is doing here, but Julio probably has it there for a reason. So this is our washing station. This is where we wash all of our clothes when it's sunny out, because right now it's not sunny. And this is just gorgeous. Right now, it is really dirty. Like you can see there's moss in there. I don't know if you can see that actually on the camera, probably not, but it's, uh, there's moss in there, there are leaves in there. This is actually pretty deep. I would say this is probably two feet deep. Two feet? Yeah, probably about two feet deep in the, in the deepest plot, because my daughter, can go in and she almost, her head almost goes under, but not quite. So it's really, really gorgeous. And then over here, Julio has cleaned all of this out. All of this hat, it was completely full, uh, probably of a foot and a half of dirt when we first got here. And Julio takes a bucket and he literally with a bucket, bucket just throws and throws and throws and throws and throws the water out, throws it out, throws it out, throws it out, so that, um, because it can't fill up as quick as he can throw it out. But then it kind of is open for a little bit, it's empty, and then he can scrub everything 
down with a metal, metal brush, like a pool scrub brush. And, uh, and, and he shoveled out all of the dirt. There was so much dirt. This used to be a huge pile of dirt right there. And now it's just a little tiny hill. Yes. So, um, he made this place amazing. Like this is so ideal. And when it's actually clean, it's just blue. It's clear blue. The water is really clear and clean. You could drink it might make you feel a little bit funny um but we actually when we have water rainwater that's what we like to use that's what we like to drink oh who goes back excellent i should go give him a kiss anyway so this is my absolute favorite place we come here we jump in the water um akasha loves it here she loves it here. She gets angry when we leave. And uh, so we have to trick her into leaving. <laughs> and we'll be here washing clothes two, three hours when it's really, really hot out. There's a little bit of shade, thank God. And uh, we can wash clothes and squish them out and haul them up, then haul them up to the hill to put them to dry. And, hmm. What else? I mean, this is it, really. The other thing that's really important about this area is uh, we do get poisonous stank snakes occasionally. So it's really important to kind of keep the area um, a little bit more clean so that the snakes, because they really love this area because there are frogs here. There are lots of frogs here and stuff like that. We've only had one poisonous snake in the last year. Um, and unfortunately, we, we did kill it. We don't like to kill any of the wild animals as long as they're not threatening. But if they are threatening, like um, it could, like this snake, if she bought, if she bit our daughter, you know, we're an hour and a half boat ride and then another 40 minutes by cab to get to a hospital. So it's just, and the hospital's a nightmare, like a nightmare. So much better to just prevent, right? So, um, this is so gorgeous. I just want to show you. So that. And then also at the moment, uh, the cows come and drink out of this as well. So it's not as clean as we would like, but we don't get sick from drinking it when it's actually been cleaned out. But we do have to share it with the cows, which kind of sucks. So eventually we will put up a fence around here. So, and then have a bucket outside so that we just carry the, the water out and the, um, the cows can drink out of the bucket. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. But here you go. Here is the beautiful spring. It's nice. I wish it were a little more private. Uh, we do have to have clothes on here because the neighbors do come by. Um, they, the adjoining property right there is just right there. You can see the fence maybe. Um, and they come by a lot to check on the cows. Uh, there's also like a kind of a public kind of a public road there so people come through our neighbor comes through um whose name is julio as well because he sells chickens and he sells um meat and he sells stuff like that he sells stuff from his garden and so, and he just lives up there like um maybe two or three kilometers so he'll he'll pack his horse and he'll come down to then cross over there by foot and then there's a river there, so then he has to cross to actually get into town where he has his business and he sells stuff. So he comes by very, very often. So it's not really private, you know. It's, you technically could go naked. It's just I just don't want to. Also, Julio's stepdad sometimes comes up to, um, to just check everything out and uh, if he's bored. You know, he's just like walking by to be like, mm, looking at everything. Uh, so I, I don't really feel comfortable going naked here, unfortunately. But maybe eventually it will be really nice, um, if it's not too dangerous, to plant some plants that are really high to have like a plant curtain so that we can bathe naked and wash the clothes naked and be much more comfortable that way, right? But that is it for now. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.